And another blow for the island's employment sector as a major industrial company was forced to make what is what is being called a difficult decision to lay off. The Grand Bahamas shipyard noting that the company is facing economic challenges, but adds that plans are in place to ensure that the company remains viable in the short term. Megan Shepard explains. The Grand Bahama Shipyard confirming that 67 Bahamian workers were offered and accepted redundancy packages, noting that the process was not adversarial as most workers welcomed the packages. The number of skilled foreign workers has also been greatly reduced. A core group will remain on island to be drawn from as needed. The company stating that there is a need for local and foreign labor to be economically viable. The ship care facility stating that they have implemented a strategy that will allow the company to remain operational, noting that developments over the past 15 months have brought the shipyard to the brink of closure. They include the loss of two dry docks, which cut operational capabilities by some 75 percent, a fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic, including total loss of crew's business and more. Nevertheless, the company has continued to provide salaries at a reduced level during the lockdown and benefits for Bahamian workers in accordance with their union agreement. But in order to survive, workforce restructuring was absolutely necessary to both the Bahamian and foreign workforce in order to bring down overall numbers. As a result, a new union agreement has been proposed, which the company believes will help to balance the books. The shipyard's agreement with the union expired in April 2020. The shipyard is also in the process of securing funding for replacement docks and will communicate further on this when the global pandemic and its impact becomes clearer. Officials ending the statement by noting that if the above changes are made, the shipyard will not just survive, but will thrive once again. The company will continue to work with the union, employees and the government to ensure that the shipyard remains viable in the short term and that it can look forward to a bright and prosperous future for all concerned once the current obstacles are tackled. Megan Shepard, Sedanas Network News.